Welcome to Inside PTI, weekly videos designed to get you the trial information you want, agronomy explanations you need, and insights that'll set you up for success on your farm. Hey, today we're out at the PTI farm. We're in one of our irrigated corn trials, one of our high yield trials. And we've got some Netafim drip tape out here in the field, and this is how we're irrigating some of our corn. But one of the, one of the questions I had when I first started irrigating corn was, how do I know how much soil moisture we have? How do I know when to turn the water on? And maybe even more importantly, when should I turn it off? Because there is a cost to irrigating our crops. And so one of the things that, that we love doing at Precision Planting is measuring. We do it all the time with our planter, measuring and sensing. And we thought, why can't we do it in our cornfield where we're doing irrigation? And so out here in the field, we've got a Sentec moisture sensor. And this moisture sensor goes down three feet into the soil profile and tells us how, how much moisture we have and where it's at within that 36 inch profile. So I just kind of wanted to show you what this sensor looks like and I'll show you some data here in a little bit of how we used it um, and, and really how well we did putting water on this crop. And the whole idea with this, this sensor is when the soil gets dry, it would tell us, okay, this crop um, is it a refill point? Okay, we need to turn water on so this thing doesn't get into any stress. And then once we get charged all the way back up and we're full in the soil profile, that's when we want to turn the water off. So ultimately, I want an uh, automated system where we have a, a refill line. We have to determine where that's at. That's the hard part. But the water would just kick on and off automatically based on these soil moisture values that we're getting, again, 36 inches down and then comparing the amount of water we're putting on and we can just turn on and off and stay right there and it, not too much water um, but we're not going to be running out as well so that's going to be most efficient here in the field all right so what did the data tell us from our Sentec moisture probes let's start off with the dry land corn so this is where we didn't put any irrigation on and the way to interpret this data graph is kind of splitting it into three things First, the top, the blue section, that's gonna be when the glass is full, if you will, we're, we're at saturation, we can't really have too much more water. And it, we really don't wanna stay there the whole time, but that kinda of shows us when we're full. Where we really wanna stay is the green area in the middle of the graph. That's gonna tell us, in my mind, the safe area where we need to be. Not too wet, but not too dry. The red area at the bottom of the graph is gonna be the stress line. If we let our soils get too dry, this is where the, the crop's gonna encounter um, a lot of stress that's gonna cause significant yield loss. So again, this is, this is the automation part of it that I ultimately wanna to go to. I wanna be able to, to stay in the safe zone and have the irrigation kick on and off as these moisture probes tell us where we're at. I don't wanna to get too dry, but I don't wanna to get too wet. But the data in this dry land plot where we couldn't irrigate showed us that we were using water like crazy. We weren't getting new rainfall because that's the only way we could get rain. We weren't getting that rain and we were just using water every single day. And we did get into that stress zone where we're losing yield. So it's going to be interesting to take this, this corn to yield to find out what the yield differences are since we did get into that stress zone. All right, now let's go to the irrigated section of the farm where we were putting water and putting nutrients on. The story was, I mean, it just changed completely. I mean, we were pretty diligent on putting water out here. And you know, when I look at the data again, that, that top section of the graph, that blue area is, is telling us when we're full. And uh, I actually kept, kept the soil full of water for, for the, really the majority of the growing season. And one might question, did I put too much water on? This is some of the things that we're learning now that we have the opportunity to measure soil moisture. But you look at the stress zone, we weren't, you know, we weren't ever near it. We were in the, the recharge area, the refill area, a few times during the growing season. But I don't know, I always, I told uh, growers as they came out here to visit us at the PTI farm, this corn never really saw a bad day. And this, this data from this graph would say that we were never short on moisture. The big question is gonna be whether I gave it too much moisture or not. So today's Inside PTI, agronomy tip of the day, is you know it's, it's very interesting when we can measure because we can use those measurements to find out where we're at at a given point and we can make decisions of whether we need to change. And that's what we did in this particular plot. We're using our Sentec moisture probes to figure out where we're at with soil moisture to determine do we need to turn the irrigation on or do we need to turn the irrigation off. So it's all about management and, and sensing. 
getting that information. Just like we do at Precision Planning, a lot on the plan or sensing. And if we're getting something wrong, we can realize it and we can change on the fly, sometimes automatically, before we would have any yield loss potential. So that's what we're doing out here with these sensors. It's all about measuring and, and, and adjusting, overcoming, adapting. Well, that's all the time we have for today. If you've got any questions about anything we talked about, feel free to reach out to any Precision Planning Premier dealer, or you can go to our website at precisionplanning.com. Thanks for watching this edition of Inside PTI. We'll see you on the next episode.